Hello Star Munchers, Max here, back playing Superland Crash. Uh, in the first episode, we got quite a bit done. Uh, we got a speed upgrade and a jump upgrade. Um, but right now, like, the only thing that I haven't really done is messed around with this. Which I'm curious to see, because it's a time, it's a timed event. And I think maybe that now that I have the speed upgrade, I might be able to make that. Because I wasn't fast enough before. But if I can... There we go. Okay. Can I jump... Jump across? Ooh. We can get some coins out of these. I'm not quite used to doing that yet, but we could really use that. What's your deal? Always get the upper ground. Well, I try. Ooh. Ooh. Here we go. That looks uh, a little sketchy. Can I even get that from here? If I jump here. Ooh, that looks real high. I don't think I can make that. I might need the wood upgrade thing for that. But I think I should be able to get that coin up here. Which we need because of that weight that's over there. Can we make it up here? Oh, we can. I don't know what these push pins are all about. We still don't really know what those are for yet. Got a button? Oh, we got a little shortcut unlocked, I guess, with the mattresses. Ooh, got some coins. But real quick, we can do something over there with the blue thing, which I didn't see before. What does that do? Oh, that must be for the little uh, teleporter ball. And then we need the green ball. Uh, how much... I don't know what that goes to. Um, Real quick, how much do we need yet in order to buy that weight? I don't even remember what that was for. Um, oh, yeah. I forgot we can take this fly back over this away how much money do we need 40 hmm so we we're still short on the on the dough how much more do we need then we need eight more eight more coins so if we can get eight more coins we could at least buy that weight and do whatever that puzzle is so we got to keep our eyes open for some treasure but then now that we have this upgrade i'm oh wait a second hold on <gasps> Here's some coins. Nice. See, this is where they're going to get me. It's all these fun, quirky little secrets. And I'm going to be second-guessing everything. Whoa. That's unconventional. What the heck is this for? What in the world? Why is there an entrance? Did I already get stuff back there last time and I'm just not remembering? That is also a possibility. There's just so much to this game already, and I'm loving it. Um, well, we have the shortcut now, so let's use it. That's fun. To come over here. So we just need a, a few more coins. Five more coins, and then we can buy that weight on the other side. We got another one of these plug things. We have the bones for that. What the heck is going on here? That guy blind? Ooh, don't mind if I do. What's your deal? Green bird up there's my pride and glory. I call her Henrietta. Oh, that's our that's our teleporter gun. Um, these origami birds. Last time we had a storm, the whole place shook. Half my poor baby's cages fell from the ceiling. An awful sight. Um. So that square up there looks a little suspicious what does this do oh no where are my birds uh i'm so glad they're oh so it's like sound effects i guess oh he thinks they're real birds so how does that help me because this lit up when he jumped off of it so what does that go to i'll have to Oh, wait a second. There's a battery pack. We got more coins over here, which we need. 39. Oh! 
bones. We need those. Oh, I just collected another one I didn't even see. All right, so we're at 40. So we can buy the other thing. This... How would we do this? Oh. Okay, so I guess I just sort of float back and forth between them, I suppose. There's the key. So how do we get inside there? What do these guys have to say? Has everything changed, mate, or is it just me? Like the rake just scraped across the whole town. Hmm. Weird. Here's a battery. So wait a second, hold on. Let me backtrack. When that guy jumped, this over here went all the way over here into something I can't even get to yet. So that's closed off. There's a, a laser. One of those motion-activated ones. Are there any more coins that we can get? Oh! <gasps> I'm so stupid. You can actually just walk back here. That's good to know. Are there any more... Alright. Apparently we found... Uh... Waldo, I guess. Um, let's see. Well, um, there's the pipe that goes in front of the laser, so we can see what the laser does. Oh, it open, it opens up that, but only for like a split second. Hmm. Now, hold on. How? If that's activated from the inside, there's no other way in except through this blue thing. So how the heck do we get up there? This is very strange. Um, well, hmm. The only tool that we have is the stomp shoes. tried this before? Can you do this? Oh, you can? Okay. Okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. I didn't know that you could do that. But that makes so much sense that you can. But I never would have thought of that. Because the faster you enter the green pipe, the faster you're going to exit it. Which makes sense. Um, so we have the key. So we can unlock the cage. But then I think it's still probably too high off the ground for us, right? Not sure. Hold on. Let's see if we can cheese it. So, move. Afternoon, young man. What do you think? My beautiful birds. I think they're great. How the heck are we getting up there? Well, that's... Blue? Could we maybe stomp it? Green bird up there is my pride and glory. I call her Henrietta. Alrighty. Um, so this opens just for a split second, but it's not long enough. Um, Maybe we want to check and see what else is up there. Because we could have kept walking, but we stopped. Yeah, we can't even get back to the other side, I don't think, until we do this. Okay, so I'm pressing forward. Okay, so, okay, so let's jump over here, jump this way, what do we got up here? Hey, there we go. So this is for, how would this benefit us? That's after we have the teleporter, we got more coins. This looks like something we use the float buckle on to get back up here. Uh, well, I mean, it's blue, so can we stomp it? <gasps> Did I hear it go down on the inside? I was expecting the whole thing to just fall through. But it's it's obviously blue, so I think that's what they're going for. Is it on the ground? Yes! Give me Henrietta. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. All right, um... So I'm going to go ahead. I need to go back up top. Because this falls here. So why would I need that, I wonder? So I'm trying to think through. 
if we put this here, if I remember how this works, hold on. We need to put it somewhere where it's not going to roll around a bunch. Maybe right here. I need you to not roll around, please. There. Maybe there. Okay. I'm going to leave that there. Hope it doesn't roll too far from where I need to go. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to move forward, forward, forward. Okay. Is the thing still over there? No, it's not. It's all the way over there. Uh, is there a gap for this that I could just use? Definitely not. All right. Um, I wasn't expecting it to move so much. Will you stay there? That's my question. If you stay there, then this is perfect. But if not, then this is definitely not going to work. Alright, I'm going to put it here. Okay, that seems frozen. So, we're going to try this again. Well, that worked, but why didn't the thing work? Oh, wait a second. This doesn't shoot a teleporter thing. It just told me it shoots these. These weights. Well, that's fascinating. So it's not a teleporter. Or at least it's not yet. So how do I use that to my advantage? Well, the green ball can trigger this for me, so I need to be right here when it does that. So... Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay, I get it. So... This is actually really cool. I, I can't believe it took me this long to figure this out. So if I go here, fly across to here, this will take some speed and timing on my part. I can't, this is so good. So if I go here, stand up here, I just need to get my bearings real quick so I know where I'm going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot one of the green balls in here, run, stand over here, and wait for that ball to cross in front of that laser. Got it. Okay, sick. Thank you very much. We got the battery. Okay, that makes so much more sense than what I was trying before. All right, we're going to do this thing. Let's plug this in. Boom. Now we have electricity. I'm assuming this conducts electricity. It does. All right, and we're through. And now we can just permanently get over here, because we have this. But I'm still curious as to why we need to buy the other one. But let's just do it. I'm not sure why we need to buy the other one, but we're going to do it. I thought this was going to be the, the teleporter, and there probably... I'm guessing there will be a, an upgrade at some point. But let's go ahead and buy that. Oh, makes the ball three times as heavy. So we don't get a separate thing. Okay, I don't know why I had that wrong. Um... So now, what can we use this for, I wonder? Because I, I need to, like, recheck everything I know now that I have this. So we have a weight. So that's going to be a problem, because we need... What does this do? What did that do? What do you power? What happens when you roll through? So this goes all the way over here, goes over here, I think down here, up through to this orange doorway, really? Okay, wait, hold on, hold on just a minute, that keeps going, this powers something over here oh dang that's a long walk to get from there to all the way over here well now that's all fine and good and I'm sure we'll come back to this but what I'm interested in is the area that we can get into that we accidentally stumbled across so I'm gonna activate this and head back over here now that we have this 
Um, I'm interested to see what we need to use this weight for. Aside from, like, the actual physical balance weight thing that's over here, I'm interested to see what the heck we need this for. So let's... Well, we can just fire that and then place it in here. All right. Sure, there's something over here. I don't know if it's going to be super valuable. Okay. Stomp damage. Okay, we got more bones. Now, this is very interesting. I don't know what the point of that is. I do like the overall uh, aesthetic, how they added some more fun little things to it. Now, what in the world is all this about? This looks very teleportery, like we should be able to do it from here. Because the ball's just going to fall through there, right? Now, why? Okay. All right, I'm not going to bother with this. Let's go back over to the other side real quick. I don't want to get off on a tangent because I know I'm just going to forget what the heck we were doing. So, with the grass over this way, we found that we could just sort of walk through an area over here that I wasn't aware of, but we can. So let's go ahead and do that right now. It's clever. Clever little hiding spots. But now I'm, like, checking every little thing because <laughs> I'm paranoid. So that guy jumps because we know that. But what does that actually power? A doorway up there? How far can we go over here? Okay, so this is the boundary. This is a little run-jump situation. So how do we get that guy to jump and get us all the way over here, I wonder? That's a long trek to make without a teleporter. A real long trek. So let's check over here. That's very dangerous that cannot be safe uh, okay we got another one of these plug things which I'm watching for these now I'm trying to remember where I'm seeing them in case it comes up all right these are just bones in there not super valuable but I guess the game wants us to have them so um So, how do we get that guy to not land on the button again? Because we need him off the button in order for this to be a thing. This is all very interesting. Very interesting. Because, I mean, it's only open for us like a split second. Okay, so it kills that immediately. So, we are not getting through there. And I don't think there's any possible way for us to make that guy jump and give us enough time to get all the way over here. So we'll come back to this. We will come back to this. Which means the only other thing I can think of to do for this episode, because I don't want to go too long on time. Which, first of all, let's launch this. Come through here. Alright, let's go ahead and just set this one rolling, I guess. All right, I'm going to set you here. Okay, that's going to roll, I'm assuming. So we need to get... Oh, and that's why it has the jet propulsion return thing. Okay, let's launch ourselves over here. Okay, it should still be rolling, hopefully. So if we come here, if our ball doesn't get interrupted... Wow, I can't believe that worked. Um, so this is kind of ominous, but cool. I don't know what half of this is. All right, just walk right up to the edge. There we go. There's all these push pins, which I'm curious about. I wonder if we're going to be able to connect our uh, beam with those or something. Is it just bones? Really? Okay, no, there's more. Okay, but I don't really want to fall down in here. <laughs> in case, let's walk around this way. Is there something hidden back here? Ah, here we go. Stomp damage. They're really doubling down on the stomp damage, aren't they? Um. Alright, what do we have over here? Just a gap, I guess, we could jump through? That's the way we came, right? I mean, in theory, that might be all that we needed to do in this area? I'm not sure. I'm tempted to try and jump through there. 
really tempted. Ooh. This is a whole new area. I feel like I saw bones back there. Hold on. Are there bones back here? There are game trying to hide those from me. Okay. So we're in a whole new area. And all of this is very confusing now. And that's okay. Because this game's a blast. We got some beautiful water. New puzzle area. I probably shouldn't go any longer than that. But yeah, this game is just so much fun. Oh, and we have the green hoop, which is great. Because we already have what we need to do that. Which is perfect. Ooh, we got some fire. Which is fun. Um, Yeah, I think I'm going to end it, end the episode there. Because uh, I don't want to go too far over time. Uh, but this game is a blast so far. Um, I just can't describe it. Like, I know puzzle games aren't for everyone. And a lesser puzzle game would probably get me more frustrated with just like, what am I supposed to do? But I feel like this game is... And, and, and the first... And the main game. I would describe it as fair. It's a fair puzzle game. You know? It's not ridiculous. And... It's a legitimate pleasure to play, and I can't wait to see what else this game has for me. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.